saints there is something that sometimes we forget so i'm here to remind you of it when you are walking in the resurrection power of christ on a daily basis you cannot be around those in darkness for long and expect it to go well let me repeat that because it needs to get through to you and if you need to repeat this video over and over again do it when you walk in the resurrection power of christ i'm not talking about you just being born again being born again is simple you believe the gospel and you're born again you're part of redeemed mankind but are you actually redeemed in fact you are only redeemed in fact when you do the will of the heavenly father society has no problem with you being a believer absolutely not as long as you're not a threat to the violence and the control obsessions of worldlings what they call privacy private lives and all of that in the world are just control obsessions because we as human beings we have no control and we will never have control we never had control nevertheless follow mankind wants to play god as compensation for their lack of self-worth as simple as that so if you're a believer but you're still stuck in darkness hey they will tolerate you and they will even reward you for being a bad example and they will use this against you to get narcissistic supply but the moment you are graduating into sainthood and the moment you've graduated into sainthood by walking by faith walk in the resurrection power the moment you're in this stage i'm telling you there is no way you can be long term around those in darkness where it's just common worldlings or bad people or reprobates by the way you shouldn't be around reprobates anyway but just understand those in darkness you can't stay around them for long and expect there to be peace and harmony it will never happen one example if everyone around you is wearing blindfolds that means none of them can see what goes on and you have your eyes open without any blindfolds who's in advantage you others have no advantage because they don't know what, what, what goes on you and your right mind seeing the bigger picture amongst them you have advantage and the moment you operate that advantage is going to cause this harmony because others are going to experience the leverage you have and your leverage grants you power over them even if that was not your intention to have power over them the fact that you have this spiritual insight and you process things in an abundant way by seeing what goes on and seeing all the options and clearly seeing through the circumstances the moment you can see as Christ said it, those that are blind will take offense at you. They're not literally blind. It's spiritual blindness. They will experience the power you have over them as a type of invasion or a type of violation similar to rape. And anytime you operate in this advantage, they are reminded of the power you have over them. And they will resent this power you have over them, and they are going to resist and they're going to oppose this power you have over them. And when they resist and oppose this power you, you have over them, they are going to make up some dumb excuse why they are attacking you, why they're putting you in negative daylight, why they're mistreating you, why they're disliking you, why they're hating you. They have no good reason and they have no excuse for what they're doing. They just don't want to deal with the reality that you are walking in power. So, do not think it's a strange thing when certain people suddenly ghost you. Or when some people suddenly uh, begin to accuse you and complain about you without any just reason. See it like this. They are in darkness. They have no real safety working for them. The only thing they have is relief from danger. 
by getting along. And how do they get along? They get along by transferring their pollution caused by the lack of self-worth onto selected victims. That pre prevents them from turning one another in madness. That's the way worldlings get along. That's the only way they can get along. So, when you walk around and you don't need this scapegoat mechanism, you don't need this toxic denial, you don't need this fear of violence, you don't need this threatening hand on you, they are going to feel inferior. Not because you are talking down on them, not because you take low of them, but because they take low of themselves. They take low of themselves, and that's why worldlings, in general, they seek compensation in blackmailing other people. That's how worldlings are. And the moment they realize that they can't blackmail you because you're ahead of them all the time, they're going to become obsessed with you, either to exploit you 24-7 or to exterminate you one to two. Rarely will you find worldlings will continue to be on good terms with you on the long term. So I'm saying that you can never be around worldlings at all. That's impossible. You have to be. Just realize you cannot be around worldlings on the long term and expect there to remain peace and harmony. But why? Because they are not in peace and harmony. They're in darkness. Think about it. You could be walking past a gas station. And were people ready to beat up some guy at the gas station? Why? Because they were upset with what the individual said. And I want to teach an individual lesson. You walk by. You have to go to the gas station. You send peace out of you. And because I send peace out of you, all the people who are ready to knock the other guy out, they suddenly fall on their face. Something smacks them down. It's the power you release out of you. And then you walk by. When you walk by, everyone feels intimidated because they feel some dominance with you. And the individuals who are ready to knock someone out can see the target, they, the one they aim to target, walk our way freely. Who do you think they're going to put all their anger onto now? You. Because you stopped them in ventilating their unrest. So now they're going to seek to put that unrest on you. That is how it goes. Now, did you have any idea what was going on there or what would have happened? No. You just did what you had to do. Stand a piece ahead of you before I arrived at the place. And you did that. So you took charge of the situation before you entered the situation. So you arrived in the situation with an advantage. And they couldn't blackmail you out of that advantage. So, understand these things. You, being a saint, so walk in the resurrection power, will not bring you any real friends. Now, there will be people joining your side, but those are ones who are realistic and want solutions to do. Apart from those, don't expect you to win any friends or any approval, nor any endorsement from the world for walking the restoration power. People will not say to your face because they don't dare to say to your face because they're too frightened of the backfire will happen. But people simply hope you die. They hope that you perish or they hope that tragedy haunts you. They wish and hope the worst things on you because they are forced to face their own instability that they don't want to face. They put all that effort into avoiding their inner instability. How do they do that? By disliking other people, hating other people, by having all these political things going on. They don't want to face their, in their how do I say, their instability. They don't. And when they come to you, whether you want it or not, it's like a mirror is forced in front of them. And because they can't stand having a mirror in front of them, they will lose it. So, there will be people being so-called happy in your face to see you. But when you are not around, they are cursing you. They are murmuring, complaining. They are losing it because you exist. Why? Because they cannot control you. They cannot sabotage you. They cannot blackmail you. 
And because of that, you reveal something ugly about them that they don't want to face. Because once they face this ugly thing, namely how unstable they are, and they face all the other dysfunction and effects from the moment they face that, there's option for healing and option for improvement. But the healing process and the restoration will be a painful one. People don't want to go through all of that, just want to escape. And because you hinder their escapes, they see you as the bad guy, they see you as a villain. So, saints, don't think it's something strange when people treat you as a villain. What else do you expect? They didn't treat Christ any better. Do you seriously think they will treat you better than they treated Christ? No, they will not. So, we must be determined to be loyal to Christ above all and to love him supremely above all. That's why Christ said, if you love anyone else or if you have any devotion to anything else or anyone else more than me, you're not worthy of me. You can only be trusted with the resurrection power if you're fully devoted and fully loyal in complete allegiance to Christ. Everyone and everything else must be in harmony with your allegiance to Christ. If they are not, or if something's not, it needs to go. We have to be Christ-centered. Only then are we fully stable to walk in life and abundance on the earth. Look, not everyone wants solutions, and not everyone will ask for solutions. Why? Because they're too proud. They have to face themselves. And facing that their self-esteem was based on a hoax will cause them to crash mentally. And when people crash mentally, they tend to act out of line, they tend to act out of pocket, and they tend to, to explode on the community. Nobody wants to go through that. So that's why our influence as saints is not wanted. Do not be mistaken. The world or society hates you more than they hate their worst child molesters. Child molesters get a better treatment than you do in general. Child molesters, child rapists, pedophiles, human traffickers, wife beaters, females that kill their young children. Imagine the worst and the vilest people around. Society will rather put up with them than with you. Because all those other vile and disturbing people, all those other monsters, they, have, they can look down on them and feel bad about themselves. And they can use how foul and dangerous they are as an excuse to get rid of them. Directly, by setting them up or by, by setting them up or killing them or indirectly, by putting them in negative daylight. But you, anytime there is some negative investment against you, you feel it ahead before it unfolds. So you're ahead of it. With you, there's no choice but to stop and submit to the anointing of Christ inside of you. That is why the world hates you. That is why the world wants you gone. That's why the world insists in being your enemy. You are not an enmity with the world. You are not invested against those worldly people, but they are invested against you. Some of them are only on good terms with you now because they don't notice the leverage you have. The, some of those worldlings you have around you now, listen to what I'm saying. The only reason they are still smiling with you, they're still on good terms with you, and they're still happy to see you, is because they don't realize the leverage you have and what you can do with that leverage. The moment they begin to see your potential, or the moment they realize your potential, hey, they'll run away from you, they'll ghost you. And from that point on, they will join other people in, in finding ways to contain you and to exterminate you. So, do not be unequally yoked with the world. It will not benefit you at all. The hatred of the world is real. And the hatred of the world is aimed at believers. 
because we are the only ones on the earth that cannot be stopped by violence nor murder. Was it for now? Keep on creating Christ and be at peace.